Hey everyone, hope y'all are doing good today wherever you're at. So today we're gonna to cover an up and coming DEX leverage trading platform called Mango Markets. They're a decentralized cross margin trading platform with up to 5X leverage and integrated limit orders on the Serum DEX's on-chain order book. Now these guys have been growing like crazy and they actually won first place in the Solana Serum Hackathon a couple weeks ago. So they're definitely making moves in the market and they're trying to be the main DEX leverage trading platform in the market. So we're gonna cover how to create your DEX wallet, how to add your wallet addresses, then go over various features of the Mango Markets Exchange. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So if you go to mango.markets, this site will come up here. Now you'll see at the top, it's an unaudited beta release of Mango Markets. So they're still in beta. And with that said, things are subject to change, but they are adding new features every day. And again, they are making this platform as user-friendly as possible. So we're gonna go ahead and cover that. Now, they also have a US platform. So if you just go here, if you go to openserum.ch, this is actually a front end for Mango Markets without geo-blocking. So if you're in the US, use this website here, openserum.ch slash mango-ui, and you'll be able to access the same platform that I am using right now. So when you first come to this platform, the first thing we need to do is connect your wallet. Now, if you don't have a Solana wallet, then you'll need to create one. So let's actually go over that real quick. So if you go to solet.io, S-O-L-L-E-T.io, I'll have it in the description as well, you'll come up to this page. Now in the top right, it'll say create wallet. You'll click that and then you'll have to create, um, you'll have to save your seed phrase that'll come up. It'll be a 12 to 24 character seed phrase. Make sure you save in a secure location on your computer or on a secure USB drive or hard drive so no one can access it. But once you have that saved, you'll use that to restore your wallet from any other computer that you log into. Or if you log out of your wallet, then you can use that to get back in it. So make sure you keep that secure. But after you create your wallet, then the first thing that will pop up is this Solana address. Now this will be your individual wallet address for Solana. And you'll need to deposit Solana in here because in order to add other wallet addresses, it uses a small Solana gas fee. So it's about 0 0.03 Solana, which isn't that much, about 20, 30 cents, but you'll need that in order to add different wallet addresses. So make sure you deposit at least one Solana. You can buy it from um, the FTX exchange. So really simple there and just deposit it in here. You just click, click receive, and then paste that wallet address into FTX withdrawal, and it's right there. Now the main coins you'll need to add here is ethereum so wrapped ethereum wrapped bitcoin and native usdt so all you have to do is click the plus sign here and then from there you just click um, add next to each of these addresses and then you'll be able to add the wallet now it'll come up with an approve uh, transaction so there's a window that always pops up so make sure you click approve and then you'll be able to um, pay that fee and then add these wallet addresses now after you add your wallet addresses then you're able to connect your wallet. So just connect, connect wallet right there and then click connect. And then from there, you will have your wallet connected. And then now we can deposit funds. So in the bottom right here, you'll see under margin account, you can see deposit, click that. And then whatever coin you have selected, you should see your wallet address up here. Now this is the same wallet address that is pulling from your Solana address. So for example, if we quickly click Ethereum and it says no wallet address found, then that means that you still need to add wrapped Ethereum to here. So you need to add that wallet address, pay the fee, and then you're good to go. So right now I don't have anything in any of these wallets, so um, I cannot add anything, but if I wanted to, then I would just click these, i would click the amount, click max, and then deposit or type in whatever amount I wanted to. Now you can see here, I already have $20 of USDT in here. So we're gonna use that for our example. Now, a big thing here also, for your Solana address is uh, a common problem is Mango margin accounts are owned by sole addresses. So different sole accounts in the same Solet wallet will have separate Mango margin accounts. And people often switch Solet accounts and expect the Mango account to be the same since sole addresses are from the same wallet. Basically what that means is whatever wallet address you connect here and you have your funds, um, make sure you're connecting to that same wallet address every time to see your funds. Because if you connect to some different Solet wallet address, then it will not, your funds will not show up here. So make sure you're connecting to the same address so everything's good to go. Um, now, so after we've um, created, we've deposited our funds, next we can actually buy. So 
the top left here, you can see Bitcoin USDT, and then I can click down and click Ethereum USDT. So let's go ahead and buy some Ethereum here. So if I wanna buy some Ethereum, say I have $20 of USDT, let's just go ahead and buy $20 worth. So I'll type in 20 there, 0 0.01 and buy ETH. And then again, a window always pops up. You have to click approve. If you don't see this window, it's, it's minimized somewhere. So make sure you close your windows out, find this, click approve. And you'll see there, it is approving your transaction. So now we should see this $20 go away and then we should see it convert to Ethereum shortly. So this $20 or $20 goes away. And then now we should see that Ethereum pop up and actually making sure also that you are settling your funds. So one thing, um, I did place this as a limit order you saw there. So then on open orders, it shows up here. Now I want this transaction to transact right away. So we're going to cancel that. And again, you have to approve it. And then let's actually switch it to a market order so that the transaction can apply right away. So remember market orders are going, you're going to be a taker because you're taking from the liquidity pool. So it's are gonna charge you a small fee. Now, since I was doing a limit order before, I was a maker, which means I was providing liquidity, so I was actually getting fees back. So keep that in mind, um, limit or market order. And then also, um, if you wanted to use, if you're doing a limit order and you wanted to use this post button, what that means is if your order is executed uh, while this post is selected, you will get those maker fees back. So keep that in mind. And then IOC is immediate or cancel. If the order isn't executed within the first 10 seconds, the order is canceled. So cool little options there, but okay, let's try this again. So $20, 0 0.01 ETH, buy ETH, approve. Since it's market, it's gonna execute immediately. And now this $20 is gonna disappear and then you're gonna see 0 0.01 ETH here. So there we go. So now ETH is there. So let's go ahead and cover the bottom right. So or the bottom left. So you have open orders, balances, which you can see ETH deposits 0 0.01 and then fee discounts and trade history. Now fee discounts, this is a big one that makes Mango Markets unique in addition to their leverage trading. So basically if you deposit Serum, you can reduce the fees, the maker fees, um, or enhance the, uh, or reduce the taker fees or enhance the maker fees. So basically that's, that's helping you. And what's great about these is actually it's a collective pool. So. A big thing is the serum trading fees are reduced for all users, regardless if you deposit or not. Contributing serum just raises the total amount for everyone. So basically what this means is whoever deposits serum into here, it's like a collective pool and everyone gets a discount on these fees. So it's like a community pool. And that's what I love about it because it's not you know just individualized. Everyone's helping each other out. Now these serum fees, you cannot use these for borrowing or use these um, for extra collateral or earning interest. So they are just for reducing fees here. So, but it's still good because again, it saves you money in the long run. Now I mentioned interest. So this is what makes Mango Markets uh, very different than any other exchange. You actually earn interest on your deposits here. And this interest can actually be as high as 80%. So the interest rate and in lending, it's similar to FTX margin lending. Uh, the more people borrow, the higher the interest rate gets. So for example, it can get to 80% if there's a lot of price action. And even if you miss the trade, you'll still earn interest. The key difference is that there's no one hour lockup period. So you can still seize the opportunity. So if you see some big move happening and you got to get out of your interest position, boom, seize the opportunity and you can take that trade. So that's what makes it different than the FTX margin platform, which for USDT, you know, you have that hour lockup. So a great, great benefit for using Mango Markets there and still taking advantage of the market. Now, a big thing is um, this bottom right window here. This is probably the most important window on here because it tells you your equity. You see $20.11. It tells you your current leverage. So I'm just, you know, no leverage really. Total PL. So I made $1.27. Collateral ratio greater than 200%. So Let's actually do a margin trade and I'm gonna explain what this collateral ratio is and why it is really, really important. So let's just say I wanna go 3X leverage, okay? So I got equity of $20, I wanna go 3X leverage. So say, um, I'll, let's go ahead and I wanna buy, uh, use $60 worth. So let's go 3X, so buy ETH, 0 0.03 ETH, using 60 and it's a market order. Go ahead and click buy, approve. And then from there, we should start seeing um, some borrows that'll show up under here because we are borrowing that 60. So boom, we borrowed $60 and you can see it's under here. And then look at this leverage 3.13 X. 
And then you can see here collateral ratio, 132%. So this is very important because right below it, you have this maintenance collateral ratio, which is the collateral ratio you must maintain to not get liquidated. So if you get to 110%, your account will get liquidated. I repeat, will get liquidated. So you want to make sure this collateral ratio stays well above 110%. Now you may be asking, how's collateral ratio calculated? Well, that's a good question. So collateral ratio here, it equals the deposits plus your positions divided by the amount of loans you have. So for example, say my deposit is that I have in deposits is $20. Okay, I'm earning interest on that. But my positions, let's say it is $110 divided by my loans, let's say it's 100, I'm borrowing $100. So that's 20 plus 110, that's 130 divided by loans, I'm borrowing 100. So that's 1.3, which is 130%. So I have more deposits and positions than I do loans, that's why it's positive. Now, when it gets lower and it gets closer, you know, to being equal, well, basically Mango Markets wants to be able to not lose money on that. So when it gets to that 110%, they need to be able to pay for those fees and everything. So that's why they liquidate your account at 110%. So making sure that you are keeping in mind this maintenance uh, collateral ratio and your collateral ratio so you don't get liquidated. So that's a big thing. And then also a big thing here is if you want to withdraw your funds, the biggest thing for withdrawing is there must be no unsettled balances, open orders, or borrows. So that is a big thing, okay? You can't have any of those. So if you want to um, settle your funds, basically you go to balances here and you can see unsettled. I have a USDT unsettled of $2.74. So I click settle all, okay, approve. And then that'll go ahead and settle these balances here, successfully settled funds. There you go. Okay, now my borrows right now is 59.48. Okay, so 59.48. If I want to settle this here, so let's go to sell. Let's go to USDT. Let's type in 59.48. Let's go sell. Yep, approve. And then this will go here. And we'll just give it a second. Boom. That settled. Okay, that converted back. I look in balances. I have no unsettled funds. I'm good to go. Now I can withdraw my 0.01 ETH and 43 cents USDT without any problems. So that's how you can settle. If you had ETH here that was borrowed, you would have to buy it, okay, to convert this back to your deposits. But if you had USDT, it's in the borrow section. You have to sell it. That is a big difference there. So that is the front page in a nutshell. Next, let's go to the stats page. So for the stats page here, you can see that they have a lot of cool stats, uh, such as the deposit interest for BTC, ETH, and USDT, the borrow interest, what you're being charged for borrowing, and then the utilization, and then the total borrows and total deposits for all of these on the website. So you can see here, actually, from March 27th to March 28th, you can see we increased, I believe in the USDT value, this was over $5 million. It was 316,000, yeah. So we got over a $5 million increase here that, that tells you how many more people are depositing onto this exchange. So this exchange is growing like crazy, you know, even over the past four or five days, grown by $5 million plus. And you can see here the um, just growing as far as the uh, borrow interest, deposit interest. So a lot of people are starting to use this. So some cool GWIS stats um, if you were curious about any of these. Now, last but not least, if you click on the learn tab, it'll bring up an overview and this is their Mango Docs. So this is where you can learn a lot of cool stuff. If you click trading on Mango Markets, you can actually learn um, a lot of the stuff I was telling you about and they have snapshots of everything. So from creating your select wallet to actually depositing your funds to um, leverage trading, to changing the uh, coin that you're trading, the order book, buying and selling, and then again, settling your funds and your open orders and your borrows and your collateral ratio, everything there. So literally everything I talked about in this video, it has it step by step if you missed any of them. So making sure you are checking on that as well. And then also, um, they're very keen on feedback for this so because it's still in beta. So if you have any requests for features, then let them know in their Discord, okay? So their Discord is where you can contact them and where you can answer a lot of their questions. So definitely, if you go to um, the website here on the bottom, you can see a Discord right here link. So just click that and get an invite to their Discord and then let them know what features um, you would like to see on this because, again, they're really open. Uh, the developers are awesome. They're really fast with their developments and their updates. So let them know if you see something you want and they'll work their best to add that. 
So with that, um, we went over how to create your Solet wallet, how to add addresses, how to deposit your funds, leverage trade, and the collateral and maintenance collateral ratios, and then also the fee discounts by depositing serum and also earning interest on your deposits. So um, with that, if y'all had any questions, please, please uh, let me know and leave them in the comments below. Um, Mango Markets actually does have a Twitter account as well. So you can go and follow them on Twitter and uh, they are always give a lot of updates on there. Just type in Mango Markets, you will be able to find them. So with that, um, thanks for watching and until next time, see ya.